Good morning, Dale with Northridge Homes here. <clears throat> Today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, preparing to backfill your foundation. As you can see here, we're looking at this 10 foot high wall foundation that I've talked a little bit about in other videos. And, uh, and I'm going to give you a little bit of the understanding of what you need to do to prepare to backfill a foundation, a high wall foundation like this. In one of our prior videos, I had talked about this foundation and talked about how it's 10 foot too high and um, explained a little bit about some of the bracing that's going to go on. So I'll kind of I'll rerun over that a little bit. So at the end of the, uh, of the day, what will happen is when the house is framed, the floor joist will brace the top of the wall. And when the basement uh, uh, floor is poured, the concrete floor is poured, that will brace the inside bottom portion of the wall. And when all those are, are installed, then the house will be prepared to um, retain the soils that we're going to put in when we backfill for the long term of the home. <clears throat> but in the meantime, we have to temporarily brace those walls so they can't get tipped in when we backfill. Because when we move in here in a couple days to backfill this, we're going to bring in big equipment and big compactors because we've got a lot of soil 10 feet deep to get compacted tight so we don't have big settlement issues with the soil. So with that, that big equipment can push that soil so hard against the wall that the wall wants to move. So what we're going to do is in the meantime, now the footing down below won't move because the interior footings are tied together and they brace the bottom. But what you don't want is the wall to tip at the top. So what we'll do is we'll come in here in the next couple of days and we'll add some steel braces. And, uh, and you don't have real issues in areas where you have a corner like this because the corner braces itself two directions. But where you have an expansive section of wall or maybe you have an egress window or something like that, you'll want to add a brace. And we'll put those on the interior side, tie those down to those interior footings, bolt them basically to both the footings and about three quarters of the way up the wall. And that'll keep the wall braced so that we can get all that soil installed and compacted in the position it needs to be. And then we can take those braces out. Now that soil is solid there and start the framing process and uh, put the basement floor in and then it'll be braced permanently for the life of the home. <clears throat> so with that said, um, really the point is, is when you do a high wall foundation like this, you really got to look at temporary bracing during the backfill stage so that you don't uh, do damage to your foundation wall that would be there for the, the forever. And actually it could literally crack your walls and create leaks, which we've done all the work in damp proofing to prevent. So ultimately, we're going to strategically brace the interior of this foundation before backfill to prevent or to protect the integrity of the foundation during the backfill process. <laughs> 